and Pro 2. Is this the best 60% mechanical keyboard on the market? What is the build quality like? What features is it rocking? And most importantly, what do you gain or lose by using a 60% keyboard? We're going to be covering all of that today in this review of the AND Pro 2 wireless made by Odin's Lab. Now, full disclosure, this board was sent out to us by Banggood.com, but you should know by now that that will never affect the integrity of these reviews. Banggood is a diverse online seller with tons of competitively priced products. If you'd like to see what they have to offer, I will have a link in the description below. I was previously using an 80% board, which served me for editing and gaming, but I found myself wanting something a little bit smaller to free up space on my desk for a larger mouse pad, especially for gaming, and something a little bit quieter because the Cherry MX Blue switches could consistently be heard throughout my streams. Now for pricing and build options, you can get this board in black or white, and most commonly you can find this board with Cherry MX, Gateron, or Kale switches. Now depending on the switches you want, the price will vary on this board. Cherry switches typically bring this board up to about $150 price range, Gaterons will run you around the $100 ballpark, and Kales will take you up to about $130. Surprisingly though, this board was priced at 80 bucks on Banggood with the Gateron reds, browns, and blues available. So this was a steal. In the end, I went with the Gateron red switches, no noticeable tactile bump, very quiet, and extremely sensitive. Switches are a matter of personal preference, and I am very happy that I picked these. I can't hear the constant taps throughout my streams, and my inputs are so much smoother with the minimal tactile bump. Very good stabilizers on these Gaterons, surprisingly, with a 4mm travel distance to actuation, 45 grams of force required, and so far my favorite switch for its diversity between gaming and typing. Now, I do think these Gateron Reds are better for gaming than they are for typing, and the reason I say that is because of how easily they press. Quite literally, the lightest of inputs can cause actuation and sometimes I feel like I'm getting accidental inputs just from resting my fingers on the keys. The travel time to input sometimes feels non-existent and that's why I love these for gaming. I don't feel like I have to bottom out my press or hit a tactile bump before I can reset that key. And this really makes for repeat and spam inputs to be super quick. Overall the Gateron Blue which is the Cherry MX Blue clone is probably a better switch just for typing. But let's have a listen to these Gateron Reds and see just how much quieter they are than the tactile bumps that are in the Cherry MX Blues. So everything in the box, you get a keycap customization kit with some pink, purple, yellow, teal, and green keycaps. You're also provided with a keycap puller and a red USB Type-C cord. Now keep in mind with this board that the USB connection is actually polarized, so you will have to have the correct side upwards in order for it to operate. Now on the bottom of the board we find a wireless toggle switch, no variable tilt adjustment leg stands. I have to note this as a con, as tilt is a personal preference, but the built-in angle isn't too aggressive and it rests at what I would consider to be the middle ground of tilt, not too high, not too low, and more than likely it will provide a comfortable use for everyone. The dimensions come in at 284 by 97 millimeters. The keycaps are double shot PBT with generic font. We have some very tight framework on the Ampro 2 and you'll notice right away that this thing is quite heavy, coming in at just above 600 grams. But with all that weight, you'll also notice that this thing is very sturdy and durable. The RGB lighting is surprisingly dim. Even my cheap $35 Red Dragon slays this board in brightness and saturation. Now, despite the lights being a little bit dim on this board, you can completely customize the effects and the options here are endless. You can perk light, specific keys, or choose some of the effects. And I have to note that there are a bunch of effects here. And I would read all of these effects off from this list but i'd probably sound a little crazy now if you want to utilize this board to its fullest capabilities you're going to need the obens kit software i know i know another piece of bloatware that we have to install and whatever we plan on using this keyboard with but this software is actually really good you can create up to four different function layers with specific key bindings, macros, and media hotkeys. Without a doubt, this board takes first place in remapping and functionality layers. And to me, this contributes to it being the most versatile 60% board on the market. Now, my favorite software feature built into the board would have to be the quick tap function for the arrow keys. Now, this is built into 
the shift, menu, function, and control keys. Pressing on them lightly makes them automatically function as arrow keys. I absolutely love this. Now this function alone made it to where I wouldn't have to swap keyboards every time that I wanted to start doing some video editing. Now I have to note that upon release the Ampro 2 was actually really buggy, especially with lighting uniformity and Bluetooth connection. But the team at Obens Lab are constantly dropping updates and improving upon the software that powers this product. And for me it's worked perfect from the get go after my initial firmware update. Now the Ampro 2 claims to have an 8 hour wireless battery and it held true to that as long as you're not running any of those backlights. And if you plan on running the backlights while in wireless mode, just be prepared for that quick battery drain and having to charge it back up. Now we're rocking Bluetooth 4.0 and we can connect to 4 different devices simultaneously and hot swap our input to these devices in a flash. I had no noticeable input lag or connection errors during gaming and editing on this board, although for gaming purposes I do prefer this wired. So conclusions. I gotta say the Ampro 2 can definitely lend a hand to a cleaner looking setup and it is extremely versatile. You can quite literally pair this to anything with a Bluetooth connection and it's portable, durable, and has some excellent software supporting it. And yeah, I definitely appreciate that extra space on my desk now during streaming and gaming. I have more mouse pad to work with and that's always a bonus. All in all, this board has quickly become my go-to, and I hope that you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed testing it out. And don't forget about the giveaways. Once we break 60k subscribers on YouTube, we're giving away a Battle Beaver custom controller to a random person in the Twitch chat. Link will be in the description below. Like and subscribe if you want to support your boy and these honest reviews. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.